Gavin's significant because he's the first child with a teratoma uh, that's ever been treated using this type of minimally invasive technology. Okay, Gavin, here's the long one. That's five minutes. I just need you to hold really still. Before this, we struggled. He'd had multiple craniotomies, big operations to remove parts of the tumor, and unfortunately the tumor would grow fast and come back even before he had the opportunity to fully recover from each of those operations. You're almost done. You're doing so good. He had five craniotomies, and everyone um, was weeks, if not months, of recovery. Well, visual aids is really exciting to us because it's considered a minimally invasive type of uh, procedure. It can make an opening in the skull that's the size of a, of a pinhead and using our navigation technologies, we can direct a laser fiber to targets and tumors very deep in the brain with extreme precision. One piece of hair covers up the tiny little scar from this, whereas before his head was shaved because they needed to make such a huge incision. The first treatment he was trick-or-treating two days later and after his second treatment he was back in school within three days. It is a miracle. I mean I I just that's I'm speechless. It, it is a miracle. He doesn't have that cyst anymore down oh, that's there. that's a huge cyst. It's definitely sort of taking on yep. more sort of a, of a not active scar tissue kind of appearance. We were really happy with the results of Gavin's MRI today. It showed that the tumor size was about 40% smaller than it was before we started the two visual aids treatments back in October. It's a, called a journey for a reason. You're on it for a long time and things don't happen as quickly as you'd want, but, um, but Gavin is doing amazing and we're just so happy that we have options.